I think that was just a little guy, but caused me to twitch. Oh, I don't like how that fly landed. So I'm going to redo that one. Not a big fan of how that one landed either. Is it time to dry? Nope, that one looks good. So I'm getting the distinct impression at my little laboratory here this year has felt different um, from past years because I think whether it was from seeing me fishing this area or they figured it out on their own I think a lot of the guide boats that either launch or take out uh, right below me, like a hundred yards below me. Um, this has always been kind of a secret, uh, hit, hidden in plain sight. Um, I could come up here, my theory always was that the guide boats that are at the end of their drift are tired and ready to be done. And because it's 100 yards downstream, the guide boats that start here or start below me, um, they just shoot from there downstream and don't come up here and uh, fish this water. That's, that was my feeling last year. But this year, I have seen several guides who have launched their boat and then... Um, anchored it up and walked their fishermen up here to start their day and the consequence of that is I think these fish, my fish, <laughs> um, have seen a lot more flies and have felt a lot more pressure this year than they did last year. Um, I kind of had it to myself last year and I, I knew the whole time that I was spoiled and it was probably only a matter of time until 
somebody else figured it out whether because my truck one of my trucks is parked here frequently or they actually see me working it and catching fish but that's all right because i've got plenty of other spots including one directly upstream from here that the water today it's flowing at about 780 cfs if i were to guess and um i haven't waited that stretch up there that i'm looking off to uh I haven't weighted it above about 500, so I'm getting ready to start spending some time up there, and it treated me really good last year. All right, last cast. Right up in the top of the hole. Ooh, that hopper looks good on the water. So as evidence of what I was just saying about the whole downstream right here getting pounded this year where it may not have last year on my hike back to my truck i stopped at another little riffle that's i don't know 7500 yards upstream and on two casts got two nice little nice little cutties to take my hopper and I just think uh, anywhere you find that doesn't get pounded every day good, there he goes. I think it's just a matter of the amount of pressure that these fish get, how many flies they see, how many different presentations and whatnot. Um, that's why I have spent a lot of time on this river um, figuring out the spots that are a little harder to get to because um, that small amount of work keeps quite a few fishermen away. Oh, that was a take. That was a fish that followed it downstream. He was pointed directly downstream. Oh, there we go. See, they're, they're little, but they're anxious. And maybe, uh, maybe, they, maybe they've got this, this figured out that this is where they should hang out and not be used and abused. But I'll tell you what, I don't care how many years I've been at this sport. You give me anywhere where I can uh, catch cutties this size on dry flies all day long, and I am in. I've caught a lot of big fish in my life. And I love looking back at my pictures and whatnot. But being knee deep in shorts and wading sandals in 62 degree water catching little native wild cutthroat, I don't care how big they are, this is as good as it gets. Well, this is a new one for me too. This is my fly right here. I got one chance at it. <laughs> so I just hooked a better fish right up at the head of this riffle. And I was uh, playing the little fish game and set the hook too hard and broke him off. So here is my fly and my 4X tippet all the way up to the tippet knot. So I can say authoritatively that my, oh, and I lost one of his legs. But I can say that the weak link in the chain was my tippet knot to my 4X leader. <laughs> That's amazing. But I recovered the fly. Granted, he's minus one of his legs.